today's video is about creating a juniper bonsai in less than a year in less than a year and how do we do that we will show you exactly how we make this we have here many many examples of itoigawa juniper these itoigawas were imported from japan a few years ago and what has happened they came with these beautiful twisted trunks if you home in on it look at these beautiful twisted trunk but then the leader was grown on we were told uh, to ask this grower to leave the long shoots on rather than cut it off we wanted to propagate from it and i've shown you several videos about propagating by air layering and junipers are one of the easiest things to air layer let me explain to you what i mean if you home in on the camera this was started on the 28th of august of this year we have some which we started in mid september so that is literally 6 weeks since we started it and already in 6 weeks or 2 months look at the roots on it so in 6 or 8 weeks you can get a new plant so this is how easy it is to create a large plant like this in 6 weeks so we are not talking of a year we are talking of 6 to 8 weeks to get a huge plant separated from that although i we know that this is not 6 or 8 weeks old the old trees but we've created in 6 to 8 weeks let me show you another stage of what we've done in fact if i take you to our area where we actually do the area you can see exactly what we're doing so all these junipers here were earlier again the date is the 28th of august 23 so they were done mainly now this one here look at that 5th of september 23 5th of September. That's barely 6 weeks. And look at it. Already the roots are coming through. 5th of September. So all these itoigawas with these long leading shoots were earlier only 6 weeks ago. This whole batch of it and they've already started rooting and we're going to separate them. So they've all been separated and we will show you Now these are the ones if you look at this these were separated a month ago from those air layerings only a month ago and look at the roots in that so this air layering would be no more than 3 months completely rooted and strong so how quick is that 3 months and then we've got raw material from which we can produce a proper juniper bonsai so if you want something quick i don't think there's anything faster than making juniper bonsai and those of you who are in the know will soon realize that itoigawa junipers are one of the most sought after junipers that are going around so this one you can do all sorts of things you can make it into a s or whatever and i'm going to ask padma priya to show you this is what he did this morning These are all these air layerings right, yeah. and you started doing it and I stopped you because I wanted you to show us how we produce this. So all this now if we take into account the time that they were air layered. So this is 3 months. Can you imagine 3 months from air layering and we virtually got a complete bonsai. So I should call this video how to make a viable juniper bonsai in 3 months, not 1 <laughs> year. Look at it. complete earlier and shaped bonsai in 3 months from this so i will ask padma priya to do another one to show you what can be done so can you explain to you what you are going to do all of maybe explain what you've done here yes okay so this was rooted so if we start with that one. okay okay so um, so when i came in this morning this was what i started working with so anything that had Roots any in. decent sized roots in it i took those and severed those off 
from their parent plant. Uh, parent plant has now gone out mm. and it's going to be grown on. And the top part of these was taken off and then placed into a pot like this. Mm. So those have now been set down just yeah. over where you were just now. And whilst I was over there, I picked up some of the ones Look that were it. done. And you can see that there's plenty of root. Just in a month. <laughs> in, in the bottom already. So, uh, so the ones that have got roots coming out the bottom were the ones that I targeted. But you potted some on to grow them bigger. Yes, yes. So this is what we do. So because we grow so many plants ourselves. So these are genuinely produced at Heron. It's not imported from Japan, but propagated here. Yeah. So this is and that even, plant. Even at, even at this stage where you're starting to put them into pots. Bigger pots. Bigger pots. I'm already looking at where I think my trunk line might be yeah. at some point in the future. So the ones that I'm going to grow on, I've left straight. Mm. The ones that I actually think are going to make quite nice bonsai, something yeah. similar to up the top, I've actually planted the main leader at an mm -hmm. angle because by the time I wire that, that's going to give me a much better trunk line. So even at this stage, you're still thinking about shape and form. The ones that were a little bit weak or a little okay. bit straight, um, I put some into a forest oh, as well okay. and set a forest Try down. Something new. Yeah, so this uh, can just be left to grow and thicken up and for all of the roots to meld together. And then we've got different types of yeah, product styles, and, different, yeah. and different types of styles. So, uh, so we'll have forests, we'll have bonsais yeah. at this size yeah. and we'll also have bonsais yeah. at a much bigger size. Let me just mention something else, another tip of variation. So when these were separated from the parent tree, when we took this off, I first put, see this is the original sphagnum moss of the root ball. And we didn't put them straight away into sphagnum moss, which I sometimes do. I put them straight into ordinary garden compost. Garden compost and look at the roots on that. And then from this stage, we put it into these bigger pots so with a bigger pot, they will grow bigger, get stronger and get a thicker trunk. So that's why we're potting them on to get them bigger trees. But even at this stage, you can do something. So this is what you've been doing. Yeah. All right, so you carry on now. Okay, so also by potting them on and putting fresh soil around them, there's enough nutrients in that soil now to get that plant going for another six or eight weeks now before you even have to start thinking about fertilizer. Um, I like to wire my stuff around about this time of the year because most of the plants will put on most of their growth in the early part of the new year and by about June, July time I'll be able to take the wire off of this and I'll then be looking at secondary wiring and improving the style still further. Um, and they would set in about a year, isn't it? They should set in under a year. Under a year, that yeah. would set, oh. yeah. yeah, under a year, yeah, I would, I would imagine, as, you know, as long as we have a healthy growing season. Mm. Yeah. So some of these I've already wired, just yes. basic shapes in. Some of them I've left to grow on. Some of them are going to be grown on for forest, or some of them are going to be grown on for bigger uh, bonsais rather than something. So, so would you like to demonstrate one of these? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll take this one if All you right. wish. Okay. So just going to set it in its new pot. I could put it into a bonsai training pot, but I think this one I'm going to try, try and grow this one a little bit bigger than um, than what it is at the moment. So I'm just going to put some soil in the bottom, and then I'm already looking at where I think I might want to put some wire on the tree. So, so look. I think you can see with the white back behind back the white background behind it, that straight leader doesn't really work in that sort of position. So what I can do is, is I can set this plant off to an angle and then that's actually still going to be my main trunk, but I think it adds a little bit of movement low down. So I'll just fill this up with a bit of soil so it doesn't move around. So at this stage, I'm not really looking to make a completed bonsai. I'm just looking to get my scaffolds in the right sort of orientation, get a bit of movement into some of these branches. So, you know, we don't know what's going to take, what's not going to take. So doing all of the wiring on this and completing the tree, 
So if I did this one, I've done a little bit more on the what I would do, um, but I would normally wait until I know that the scaffolds are set before I start doing any kind of secondary wiring. So I'll we'll just get a couple of pieces of wire on this. When you're at home, you can take a lot more time over this, but for commercial bonsai, we do need to just tend to do things quite briskly. So we're using quite thick wire. This is about four mil. Yeah. Uh, I think if less. you use thick enough wire, then the wiring is very, very easy. Yeah. So I'm going to run double wire up the thicker trunk. This means I can wire with just one piece of wire rather than lots of see lines. that little trick using double wire straight away rather than applying two coils so, and again obviously my wiring would be a bit better than this if it wasn't for yeah, okay, youtube good. video now when i get to here this is the stronger part of the tree so i don't need double wire as i go up so what i can now do is set the wire oh, very good. and Take then just the use top. that yeah. up to the top oh that's a clever trick so you always learn something new <laughs> up to the top of that one this one here so now these two are thinner oh, so I'm going to do two clever. so that one gives me this one now you taught me something I've never <laughs> learned this trick look at it ingenious so you've done four branches with one piece of wire yeah four branches yeah you can do more than that, oh, so gosh. you know you can you can do as many branches yeah. as you want. Really. So now I've got I've got the wire on those uh, primary branches. Okay. So now all I'm looking to do is to try and introduce some movement into yeah. the main trunk. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. And junipers are quite pliable. Aren't yeah, they? for quite pliable. some time. Yeah, as well. So yeah. easier than pines. Yeah. Not white pine. A white pine is yeah. tricky. Scotch point, so man. look at it, beautiful, yes. So all I'm doing is just introducing some bends in. This is always going to be the difficult place yeah. to get movement, yeah. so if you can get it in early, yeah. I think it helps. Yeah. Um, don't know if that's right, but that's what I think. So, so now I've got my sort of basic branches yeah. in. So I can see I've got two others here yeah. that I could probably wire, so... Mm -hmm. As I say, I tend to keep them all there have to thicken the trunk. Absolutely. I don't want to take anything off at yeah. this stage because if right. I do, and for some reason the uh, the wiring uh, causes a problem or the branch fails for whatever reason, um, at least I've got other options I can go with. Mm. So I only really need two, uh, one to make the top of the tree and one to make the bottom of the tree. But if I've got more, it just gives me more options and you can get a products a little bit quicker and as you say thicken up the trunk a lot quicker by leaving these on. So. so I'm just trying not to trap any foliage as I go, usual yeah. usual basic stuff. So now I can just move this into position. But this is where it helps to have good material, isn't it? This is Itagawa that we are propagating ourselves. Yeah. Many of the garden centers, both in the United States, Canada, and in the UK, they have these very spiky types of chinensis, which are not the type used for bonsai, and you struggle with them. Like many of the procumbens, they're so spiky, uh, so they're not really useful. So find useful material to use. Yeah. So. If I was doing this at home, I'd just leave that now. Yeah. But I can tidy it up a bit for the purposes of the video. So I'm just using my basic pruning rules here. So anything that shoots straight up, anything that shoots straight down, anything that comes straight towards me, I'm just going to remove those. Um, and shorten back some of these to try and encourage the... Because eventually these are all going to be pads, obviously. So, so I don't need that one. 
That one I'm leaving at the moment. I might use this as a sacrifice branch. Just let that yeah. shoot off, thicken this piece up here. These you could all wire. Um, we're not going to need these ones. Yeah, by the summer of next year, it'll be a complete tree. Yeah. These are blocking the trunk line, so that's yeah. why I'm really... Did you not want to wire these? Or? I can wire that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've wired this one in. I can tie it onto that one. So that's fine. So we're not rushing to put in a bonsai pot. We're growing no. them in the flower pot to get thicker. And I would say by middle of next year, June, we can put it in a proper bonsai training pot. And the bonsai will be virtually there. So all these can be wired like that. So that's you can right. see the basic tree is virtually complete. So I should really rename this video, how to make a viable Chinese juniper bonsai in three months, not one year. I mean, obviously, the pleasure of bonsai, I think, is taking your time. Yeah. Commercially. But air layering is so easy. Yeah. You, need to, you need to get a move on, get something, get something set yeah. as soon as you can. So even if this does end up a sacrifice branch, I can oh. still wire it just in case one of the other branches fails. But while we're talking, look at these intricate trunks, isn't it? These have obviously been wired when they're very, very young to yep. get this very contorted shape and they've got shari on these trunks so the show hen tree is going to be like that. Absolutely exquisite. And we've got the bonus of another tree. So this is going to be the small bonsai like that. So I mean, you could you could obviously do a lot more, um, but I would say that for our purposes at this time, that's probably going to be sufficient. Yeah. Yes, all of these could be yeah. brought down and what have you. But you've got your basic, you've got your basic style there. None of the branches are shading yeah. each other underneath, so that they're going to all get maximum sunlight. So uh, this should hopefully develop. Into so how long did this trip. take? Five minutes to wire the material. So. Absolutely easy to create this. A lot of people copy our videos, how to make simple bonsai, but this is really the very simplest bonsai that you can do. So I'm sure other people will be trying to emulate us, but thank you very much for showing us this, Padma Priya. So this is beautiful. So let's call this video, how to make a viable juniper bonsai in three months. Thank you. So I thought I'd show you in detail what this tree looked like. It only took five minutes of wiring and with just a bit of wiring you can see how we've created the lovely S shape and the tree is now on its journey to becoming a nice bonsai. So not bad if you can create from an air layering taken just three months ago, separate it, put in a pot and now on its journey to becoming quite a nice tree in a few years time so three months is not bad and we do quite a few of them so this is another one that we've done so we must produce these all made at our nursery in herons so i hope you enjoyed this little video